Okay, working on the 2022 GMC Terrain Denali, and I'm gonna show you how to get to the seat belt here. If you need to take that off, first thing that needs to come off is this upper part of the B pillar. Um, you can see I already popped this little thing out, and then there's a seven millimeter bolt back here that needs to come out, and that thing just unsnaps, and then the lower part of it all unsnaps as well. Well, we'll get to that in here in a second. Okay, so here are a few tools, the trim removal tools, and these things are invaluable when working on interior trim. I highly recommend getting a set of these. They're like 10 to $15 on Amazon, um, and they come in great handy. Um, we'll unsnap this B pillar, and then I'll show you what it looks like behind there. Okay, here you can see that I've got off that piece of trim in the upper part of the B pillar. Here's what it looks like behind there. So that's the top of the seat belt. And these two clips right here are all that holds it in other than that seven millimeter bolt. The clip here, clip here, and they snap in here and over here. So you just get something behind there like this trim removal tool pry back against there and pop it out and it just unsnaps. So there's the top part, now I'll move to the bottom part. Okay, so I'm going to take this whole lower piece of trim out so that I can get to that bottom part of the, the B pillar. You might not have to, depends on what you're doing. Um, you can probably just pry it up, but for me it's going to be easier just to take the thing completely out and it just unsnaps. So you just get something to pry up underneath right here, pop it up and then pull it away from this side and it comes right out. So we're probably gonna have to pop up a piece in the back passenger side so that we can get the rest of this piece out, but we'll show that here in a second. Okay, so here's the next part of the trim piece. We're in the back uh, passenger side here that we're gonna have to pop up and it looks like this whole piece might just pop, pop right out. We'll take that off and we'll get back to this thing. All right, and here we are. So what I did is I just peeled back the weather stripping a little bit and got my trim removal tool right underneath here and popped up. Pries up and you've got the three, four little snap clips in there. And we'll just put this off to the side for now and work on the rest of the B pillar. Okay, so here's a little tip um, on the rest of this B pillar. You can see I got it off from here. Um, you don't have to take the seat out. It would be helpful if you did just give you a little bit more room and I might end up doing that anyways for what I'm trying to achieve here. Um, but when it comes to popping these clips out, uh, they are stuck in there pretty good. So what I did was as I'm prying back with my hand, a trim tool wouldn't, wouldn't do it. So you get a flathead screwdriver and just kind of push in on these, on these clips where you can. And that helped me to snap them out. There's one, one, two, three, four, five, six of them on there. And then it will just pull out. So that's how you get the B pillar off. And now you can see I have complete access to the seat belt. You see down there. So there's a, a few bolts that hold these in. Um, I believe all the torques are the same. I'll have to double check. I think they're T50s. And then there's a 10 millimeter bolt here. Behind this, there's just a little push pin. Uh, it's plastic, you get a trim removal tool or a screwdriver back behind that, and just it pops right out. And then that's how you will remove your seat belt. Um, there's two, oh yeah, there is a piece attached to the seat as well, um, which I need to get into and check. And I'm, this vehicle is in an accident, so I still got an airbag light on, and I'm just going to, take off the airbag connector or the SRS connectors to the seatbelt module and test it for continuity to make sure that it's not this seatbelt causing that issue. But I'll show you how to take this off here in a second to, to get down to that piece and then the whole seatbelt will be free. Okay, so the bolts for here and down here are T50s and they are the same for the seat as well. There's four bolts for the seat and two and back um, so for it all together and those are all t50 as well so I'm gonna remove the seat uh, just give me some more access 
I'm gonna have to take the bottom of the module out. I did save this little tool here to use so that the seat belt does not retract any further into there. Uh, that can cause big problems and then you need a seat belt rebuild. Um, ask me how I know. So, learning from experience, a very expensive mistake. Make sure if you are gonna remove this, if the seat belt has not been blown, you put something on it to lock it in place so that it does not lock up on you and then you need to rebuild anyways. Um, so that's what we're gonna do here. Remove the seat first, or loosen it rather. I probably won't end up taking it all the way out. And then there's a bolt underneath here, a screw that needs to come out. And then this thing pops off. Um, so I will go ahead and do that quick and be back. Okay, got the screw out down here. It is a T27. You screw that, it comes out. And then you've got the rest of your seatbelt module. So another T50 back here, you take that off, unplug it, unplug it from this wiring harness back here, and then the whole seatbelt will come out. That's how you remove your seatbelt.